welcome, 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 welcome to Meatball Family. The show formerly known as the Fan Controlled Show, the official companion show to Fan Controlled Football, the only professional sports league controlled entirely by you, the fans. I'm Jeff Twins, 1T Kanata, and I'm joined by Josh Makuga and the Commissioner Ray Austin. Welcome, fellas. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, always a pleasure. Ray, great to see you. Everybody, everybody feels a little. It feels a little. It feels a little contained today. <laughs> I feel like I might be uh, over the top a little bit. Everybody's well, contained. Jeff, no, I, I my bad. I could. I had my mic and my speakers switched. So oh, I okay. <laughs> a shocking twist of events. Ray had a tech snafu at the beginning. Man, of every, every, <laughs> I, I get on fifteen minutes early than everybody. I still mess up. <laughs> uh, we are without our our friend Patrick Dees, who is traveling at the mm. moment. But fear not, we have an awesome show for you. Of course, this show is called Meatball Family this week because last week you decided it. We give the power to the fans here at FCF, and that includes this show. So you get to name our show next week, this week, by suggesting titles throughout the stream. And at the end of the stream, we will be putting up a poll with our favorites, and you can vote on what the show will be called next week. Also... Ray's out. He did not like that idea. Hates Uh, it. He's out. (laughs) Yep. Yep. We have a an awesome show for you. We have uh, we're we're still biding our time until the big announcements for FCF season 2.0 drop. But we're coming to you every Thursday here on the the Twitch stream with some some fun in the interim. And this week is no exception. We're gonna have some new segments. We're gonna carry over the trivia that we've been doing. Josh is gonna host. Josh Purdy style and uh, host some trivia. And we have a fun guest coming in to challenge, I guess, me? At tri- yes. Yeah. Yes. Jeffrey, uh, oh, uh, okay. our, the legend, uh, Peanut, 323-187-484-962-811-4682, will yeah. be in here. That's <laughs> Matthew McMillan. And then uh, he's going to take you on, my friend. And, and the last time he was on the show, I wasn't on the show. And he thinks that I'm afraid to be on the show when he's in the show, which isn't true, although I am afraid of most things, he <laughs> is not one of them. They forced me to watch Candyman last night. Ray, oh, have you seen this movie? Oh, no. you've seen it. It's in your hometown. Yes, it is. That's what that's where Candyman came from. Cabrini, uh, Cabrini Green, man. Dude, Dude that. that that movie is insane. When you when you drive by the place, yeah, like when it was, well, it's not, it's not there anymore. They okay. actually made it damn condos. It's like Starbucks over there anymore. So oh, it's like, wow. It's not okay. even scary anymore. It's But you used to drive by there and you'd be like, oh shit, that's what Candyman was at. Oh, that like, you over there, can it, can it? and then you leave. You know, you don't yeah. say it three times. You just say it two times and then you leave. That's one messed up movie. I didn't, did I you, did it was it good? Was it good? I don't know. I don't want to say it was good. It okay. Was, <laughs> listen, I can't, <laughs> I, I don't think I can legit call a horror movie good good the yeah, time yeah, yeah i'm like on pins and needles and then he opens his mouth and bees start coming out yeah. i like you know you seen the first ha- one though right no this one i watched the first one okay this was the, i watched the first one last night yeah the new oh. one hasn't come out yet new one new one's not out oh, right no I yeah you were talking about the second one I was no like, oh, man did i miss it already like no 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 Oh, they, you uh, watched the first one just yeah. like as an adult? No, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. it probably so, wasn't scary. I was, I was yeah, you well. Right. You have to understand a couple of things about me, Ray. One is I'm terrified of horror movies. It jump scares the whole thing. Haunted houses and everything. So the fans over on the Good People Association, every few like once a month on Wednesday nights, they they vote to have me watch a horror movie so that they can see me be scared. <laughs> so, so Candyman was the vote. And all I remember is like the really, really cute girls in like the fifth grade and fourth grade being like, if you go to a mirror and you say Candyman, and I was like, oh, I'm tough. And they locked, and then I got into a bathroom and they locked me in there and turned off the lights. And I was <laughs> scared to death in like the fourth and <laughs> fifth grade. So uh, I got through my fears last night, but I'll never watch that one again. Probably that, the that's... best black horror movie that I'll ever have. <laughs> I'll uh, Jordan? Like- it's 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 it's, it's amazing it, to watching it back when I was a kid. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was amazing. So just to know that they're making a remake, man, I can't. When oh, you yeah. said that, I was like, oh, did I wait? I didn't know about this. So yeah, this is the like, Jordan Peele version. I can't, I mean, exactly. I cannot wait, dude. Yeah, like, Jordan, I I have to say, out of all the entertainers, talent or whatever, Jordan Peele has probably been the most 
uh, impressive as a transitional, as an actor to the next thing yeah. that he's doing, which, which what he's doing. I mean, he is, inc- I would have never thought out of Key and Peele, that's who that guy was. So yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to him, uh, man. He's, he's so dope. So dope. He's incredible. Yeah. Um, and Key and Peele is like one of my all time favorite sketch comedy shows. It's a uh, dude. It, it's Key and Peele sketches are, are Chappelle level sketches. Uh, they are the kind of sketches that like transcend time and mm. they'll always be referenced, right? Like yeah. the inner the inner city school teacher going to teach in the suburbs oh. is an all time. Hey, hey, Ron. And, Dude, I was, the, doing, I was doing research on hey, hey, Ron Rogers. And the and the Northwest this week. Yeah. And the and the Northwest game or the Northwest bowl oh, yeah. where they just made up the guys' names is oh, yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah, another yeah. Oh, my God. another level. Uh, but I, you know, they, they, my, 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 I want to cut you off. My, my first no, one was, I said, bitch. That was my favorite one. So good. That good. Uh, and I love Key because he went to uh, Penn State and he always does, he goes to the school and he, he acts like Coach Franklin during uh, the, the spring game because they look oh, exactly cool. alike. They look a lot alike. I thought um, it was so dope when 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 uh, Obama brought him up on stage uh, to do amazing. his thing. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so dope. So, amazing. So yeah. good. Uh, the people, when, when Jordan Peele did Us, um, the people at Us got wind of my fear of the movie. Because um, I, I don't know if I told you guys this story, but so I went to see Us because, again, the fans voted to make me go to the screener, like the press screener. And I think Jeff knows the story, but I – sat next to the unbeknowingly sat next to the editor in chief of the Hollywood reporter. And it mm. was, it was this, uh, her name is Rebecca M Ford. And, um, she tweeted that like, uh, just sat through us next to a large grown man who screamed like not during the scary <laughs> part. I, I was about to say, you just made her day. It's like, I got yeah. so much to write about. Oh, yeah. And everybody was just like, Makuga, Makuga, Makuga. Like they were like, an adu, an adu, an adu. And so Amazing. they sent an actor like dressed as an us person to our live show. And I didn't know they were coming and I oh, almost that's fainted. Dope. That's, like, I, that's so just, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be, a, that'd be a great, that'd be a great Halloween costume, man. Can yeah. You? Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Mm, I mean, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you do you do you go out for Halloween? Do you like get dressed up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I you know, fucks with the Halloween parties. Yeah, me and me, yeah. me and wifey, we, we always figure it out. Like, cool. Yeah, I usually would go with my buddy's uh, kids' neighbor. I'd go with them and just like because they would booze and you know and and trick or treat, and it was just always so cool. And then after that, we would go to a party or something like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was a uh, I was Rotten Tidwell when 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 uh, yeah, you amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. Everybody, <laughs> that was like my that was like the best one. Like as soon totally. as I walked in, everybody was like, "Oh, yeah." Uh, my uh, buddy and I in college were uh, Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan. I even like cut my hair like Forrest Gump, and we put my buddy in the wheelchair like he was Vietnam era, amazing. like long hair Lieutenant Dan. And we we rolled all through Penn State like in bars, out of bars, and I pushed him everywhere he went. It was really fun. You, gotta my, you definitely got to commit if you're gonna do it right. You got to commit. Commit. I think my yep. uh, I think my best costume one year was I went as Yanni. <laughs> I got the. I don't know if you guys know Yanni, but he's a he's a yeah. Greek synth musician. I had this long wig, and yeah. I had this. Got I found this vest at the Salvation Army that had like uh, music notes all over it. Oh, it was great. <laughs> you, know, you know Yanni, I because I, uh, you know, like a Kenny G, this Kenny G Yanni uh, yeah. argument with a friend. Yanni is like the number four solo musician selling all time. Yeah, man. I'm Live sorry. The he's, he's, he's the what? <laughs> number four, like solo musician, artist. Number four all time. Wow. So, yeah. Big, like, big international following, you know. Huge. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyway. That's like, uh, like Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland is huge. People don't realize Kelly Rowland is huge international. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's big. No way. I love that. I always had a crush on Kelly Rowland. She was my favorite of the Destiny's Children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, dude! I I love Destiny Child back in the day, man. Oh. I, I that whole that their whole first album, I like know all the lyrics. It's yeah, ridiculous. Um, <laughs> it's pathetic. I'm uh, a survivor. I'm not gonna give up. Yeah. <laughs> um, speaking of international, uh, you guys been watching the Olympics? I know. Yes. Josh yeah. About, about some Olympics. 
uh, or at least what what maybe events you would like to see in the Olympics? Well, I can say I, I, I can say this, Josh. I I have become a water polo fan because I'm a man, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, when you think about it, you're like, damn, that's a yeah. dope ass sport. Like you know, but I couldn't do it. But it was like it was a dope ass sport. It's, it's, yeah. it's soccer in the pool, like yeah. yeah. It's, it's so funny how the, when the Olympics happens, I become like a massive fan of a sport. And then the minute the Olympics is over, I'm like, nah, I'm never touch it again. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you I have watched them curdle do this shit all day. Like, yeah. yeah, I was like, dude, I can get really into this. This could be my new thing. Like, I love Great. this. And then the Olympics is over. I'm like, nah, I'm never going to look at that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a track, but I'm a track guy. I, I, I grew up tracking and football. I was a herder, yeah. so I, I I connect with the relays and the. Yeah. You know, I, I I and Tennessee was always big in, in track. We were, yeah. we were always good. So in my freshman and sophomore year, I ran track. So Ray, you know I, what's crazy? I never even told you this. Uh, growing up, I went to University of Tennessee swim camp every summer. Okay. Wow. Okay. Because their coach was from Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, and I won like swimmer of the the camp a couple years and I had for a long time. I don't, my parents might still have it a full Tennessee, like track outfit, like head oh. to toe, <laughs> all orange, orange oh. volunteer yeah, thing man. was sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Was you can't sick. go anywhere, any other state and wear that. And yes. not, but that state, you can wear it all day long. <laughs> My and wife, my amazing. wife has thrown most of my orange stuff away. She was like, "You will not go outside with orange sweats. There's no <laughs> going with me with orange sweats." And I'm like, "All right, God, that orange. Yeah, I, got I gotta Tennessee keep orange. these in case we visit Tennessee anytime. Then yeah. I gotta put them on." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here now. So, <laughs> so good, so good. Um, no, I mean, you know, it's the only four. It's once every four years where I get to see the sport that I played on TV. Right, besides golf. Uh, you know, I get to watch swimming. And so like, I'm so invested in team USA swimming. Like last night's race, 800 freestyle with I our guy that. coming out of nowhere. Yeah, right. Yeah, man. Ah, I saw that. that was, was amazing. That's like the walk-off win for the aces in the, in the people's championship. The guy comes out of nowhere, like a full, like body length and a half back in 50 meters is a huge it's, it's comeback. Insane, man. I can only, I can only imagine, man. And the, yes. The speed yeah, oh, I mean, it is, it, I've seen like a like 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 I say real swimmer, but I'm you know we all swim. Yeah. But I've seen a, like one of those guys go, man, it's incredible. It is like, yeah, man, you, you're looking like this. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, damn, I'm like how did like I, yeah. man, I, I I sing like a rock. So when I swim, <laughs> it's like yeah. life or death. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Who swims better, Ray? You or your dog? <laughs> oh, my, my dog is all yeah, that's just what he does. He, he's, all, he's all for that. He, he's, a, he's a big swimmer. So, I uh, I did a uh, triathlon uh, before kids a couple years ago, but um, I trained with a guy like a triathlon trainer uh, in a pool, and we you know, I we did the actual water portion of the triathlon in the ocean, but we trained in the you know, Man. like Olympics uh, pool, and the to like watch. The, the competition of the 1500 meters oh, and God. to know how far 1500 meters is mm. at the speed that they go, like yep. it's, you don't get a sense of it just watching what it takes yeah. to swim fast for yes. 1500 meters. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's bonkers, man. Well, yeah, I, it's I, I want, I, Matt, let me stop here and say, I have now the utmost respect for you because I have been trying to do a triathlon yeah. And I just can't get over the swimming part. And I was yeah, doing in Chicago. And if you were in Chicago, you got to do that shit in Lake, 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 the, the lake, the lake. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Michigan. And I just, yeah. And I'm like, man, I just, I can do the bike, I can do the jog, but yeah. or the run. It's just that swim, man. I just, I just see. I'm the flip. Put me in the pool, water, lake, ocean. I don't care. Put me on a bicycle. Yeah. It's yeah. the run. It's, it's run. as soon as I start running. Well, wow. I have done yeah. I've done seven marathons, and I will oh. tell you the triathlon was by far the hardest thing I've ever done. And I thought that you know I trained, I did I did brick workouts where you do two of the two of the events back to back. You know, I, I took it super seriously. I was coming off of you know my seventh marathon when I did the triathlon. I knew like running is going to be my what I I know I can do. Yeah. You know, but you don't realize, oh, you're doing the run after the swim and after the bike. After the and, bike, yeah. You know, yeah. you I came out of the water. I I did the swim. I was like, I had trained a lot on the swim. I did the swim. I was like, I really overexerted myself. I like, you know, I, I didn't 
stay calm I because there's people all around you it's like yeah. this, this <laughs> scrum of people and you're, yeah. just, you're just thrashing yeah. on the water and yeah. you're just like you feel the adrenaline you're like i'm doing it i'm doing it and then i come out of the water i'm like i'm feeling good i get on the bike i'm soaking wet i'm on the bike i do the bike and then by the time i got to the run dude, i was dead dude oh. i was dead and i was like this is supposed to be my easy street right here is the run how many how many miles was the bike uh i did a, i did the olympic the, the olympic distance. distance which is like the official so i think it was 22 mile bike Man, wow that's good that's good yeah six mile run right six mile yeah. run and yeah. one six mile, mile run yeah one mile, one mile swim, swim. Yeah. yeah uh it's, but so i was a swimmer I, or I was a sprinter so i got in the pool i was like last night was my event was the 100 meter freestyle which our guy caleb dressel won which was awesome one of the cooler things that you watch in in like a an event like the 100 freestyle is and you'll see it in the 50 is watch when they dive in and watch that first 50 look at the wave that they create just yeah. from how fast they're going and how fast they're kicking it's mm -hmm. like it hits the wall and that's why when you go you got to go under the wave in order so you don't get hit by by it. the wave by yeah. the wave that hits the wall that's how much like current oh. they're creating in a pool it's so, so tell me this because my wife asked me this and i just made up some yeah. bullshit answer because i was trying to be a man and but i don't <laughs> really know why do they push off of the, the why do they when they go down in the water why do they yeah. you know i think you can go faster come underneath right okay. you can go faster so, underneath, right yeah yeah so okay. if you notice on the lane lines you'll see a, a yellow piece of the lane line you're allowed to go underwater with the dolphin kick to that point you Got can't it. go any further because oh. there was a there was a girl back in the day. Her name was Misty Hyman. She won the 200 meter butterfly and she set a world record because she used to go underwater almost the entire length of the pool Whoa. and then come out and do like five strokes and then do it again and then do it again. <laughs> just hold her breath. Oh, just hold her breath. Okay. Because okay. you can fly. So that was like a strength of mine is like when I was underwater, whap, 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 and then I'd come up, you know, because I was 100 freestyle, 100 butterfly, 200 IM. Um and so I swam like in, in high school, I swam with a couple guys that went on to win Olympic gold medals, which was always very, I mean, it was awesome really? to see wow. those dudes. Yeah. Brandon Hanson. Oh, Dude, that's been one of my favorite things to watch in these Olympics is the, uh, on social media, you'll see the picture of the families yeah. watching yeah. Yeah. and like going bonkers for their yeah. kid. I just watched, uh, what's her name? Uh, Suri, what's her name? Uh, Soon Lee. I, Soon Lee. Yeah. Just like, yeah. like 10 minutes ago, I watched it and dude, it makes me cry every time watching oh, the family go time. nuts. Oh, I love it. It's it, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We, we won, my, in high school, we won the state championship in track. And oh, that's cool. The one of our 400 guys is one of he ran on the four by four with Leroy Burrell. So no wow. way. Man, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's like six, five, dude. Oh, he was just just he, uh, uh, Jason, Jason Rouser play, uh, went to OU and he wow, was just man. the biggest guy just running down the field like the big old deer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, he was he's got the medal and everything. man. There is there are two athletes in the Olympics. You don't see guys that are more ripped than sprinters. Yep. And divers. Have you I was gonna say swimmers. I was yeah. gonna say swimmers, man. Yeah, Those swimmers. divers had like eight hundred abs. Yeah. Like they're yeah. so ripped. And the gymnasts, like the gymnasts, aren't natural. Like their body. Dude, the are male so gymnasts ripped. when they're you know they're doing the like the T pose on the on the rings and just like stand there and just like just man, my, yeah. my, my my shoulder just aches just looking at. That. <laughs> I know. I was just like, man, look at that, man. Like holding yourself up like that is just yeah. Like, oh. Yep. Yep. It's awesome though. And you, but know shout out, you know what we need is, and I want to say this, man. Shout out to Simone Biles because I actually yes. got into it with somebody on on the internet, and they were like, "Oh, well, she should have, she should have still played." I mean, she still should have done it. And she, I was like, "Look, man, you know, this this thing we do, this this athletic thing that we do, it's it it really is ten percent physical. Like, it's fine. She if she if it wasn't her physical that she was worried, it was her mental, man. Your yeah. if your mental's not right, you cannot step in that ring. You cannot step on that field. You cannot because it will it will." It will psychologically mess you up, and if yeah. you know if you know you're not there, you can't do you can't put your body in that because you're gonna hurt yourself even more. And there's a the big difference between not being able to sink a jump shot and flinging your body fling upside down in the air to where if you mess up, you miss the jump shot, or you land on your head and die, and you die. Yeah. You know, it's and when you injure yourself and you're done, like it was so. I mean, yeah, you're, yeah, you're right. Dying would probably be the worst part, but Dude. It, it was. I was so. Yeah. It was it, it it was it was so disrespectful. So what, disrespectful. Like you think yeah. that she doesn't want to be out there? Right. And what else does that girl have to prove? Yeah. You know, yeah. she is the goat 
beyond all measure of goats yeah, you know man. like i saw somebody saying like you know she's she's michael jordan if michael jordan never lost yeah you know like yeah she's anyway it, 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 i agree with you ray it it, um, it it boils my blood watching people criticize her like I, guys you look fucking asshole you've never done anything nothing. even remotely as difficult as the you know like this girl has gone through so much and you have no right to you, criticize man. any decision you made. Here's the thing. What, what I don't, you know, as, as somebody that has dealt a lot in the mental side of sports in losing things, right? Like, I really can't throw a baseball anymore. And it was my favorite sport growing up because I got a yip like Chuck Knobloch, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't really, like, figure out how to get a baseball to somewhere. Uh, I, have a, I had for a long time a really bad chip yip in golf. And it, it almost made me quit the sport. Jack Nicholas had one. Tiger Woods had one. Uh, Arnold Palmer had a putting yip. Ben Pog Hogan had a putting yip. They talked about it on Ted Lasso last week. Like, don't talk about the yips. It was so <laughs> timely about Ted Lasso. And now they call it what they call yeah. in gymnastics is the twisties is where when you launch in there, you have no idea where you're going. You have right. no idea where you're going to land. That's you know how insane. terrifying that is? <laughs> That's yeah. insane, man. In, I, imagine I, uh, figure skaters get it too. And I was I was doing like research on like what sports get it the most. Figure skaters forget how to jump in the air. Like yeah. the body can't yeah. figure it out. Man, I Fucking had I, I played I played I was in the Alabama game in my junior year and I I sprained my MCL and I was like distraught. And I was like, I was trying to convince myself that I was okay. And they, and, and the doctor was like, we, you know, we, we, you should stay out. I'm like, no, this is Alabama. I'm not going anywhere. Al Wilson came over, one of the other linebackers, Tyrone, and they put their head right next to me. And they hugged me. It was like, we're going to win this one for you. Instantly started crying. Instantly yeah. started crying. Because they were thinking more of me like, bro, we got you. Yeah. You, you. We know how you are. We're going to go out and win this. Backup's coming out there and we still won. You know what I mean? Great. And I didn't injure my, my 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 knee even more yeah. you know what i'm saying i was able to go okay sit down don't be stupid you know it's your junior year you know you you, you got to take this one you know and it, it it hurt it hurt man it hurt me so bad i was i, I was i was mentally up for a while i couldn't break off that knee you know i couldn't break off my it was my brake leg yeah. so backpedaling and I, the yips every time oh nope no nope, yep. i'm not ready i need another week i need another week and it was really yeah. mental it was mental because I, I remembered the pain. And so yeah. when, when that guy said that, man, I was just, I, this guy was talking, I was just, I was just, I just got heated, man. I was just like, yeah, yeah. I don't it's do that whole, crazy. you know, you know, yeah. he'll tell you what I feel and what. If you don't like, know, but you don't know. Like, it's look it's at Shaq, free throws. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Ben Simmons and no, his shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, all, good there's good. so many sports where this happens. Yeah. Like, goalies in hockey go from being able to stop everything to not being able to stop anything and it happens like that well that's the thing you hear you you hear ray and other athletes actual athletes none of them are criticizing her it's no. all it's all these armchair a-holes who yeah. sit around and think they know i've never really actually been there and yeah. it just boils my blood anyway yeah. um to change subject real quick i know we got we got grant coming on right right shortly but uh -oh, uh -oh, i want to uh -oh, ask uh -oh, you guys about uh -oh, russell uh -oh. Westbrook going to the lakers yes Oh I, man, I've been I've been out of the loop all day. This this happened. It, yes. Well, it's not a done deal, but it's looking. I, I, Very, from what I was reading, it looks well, like it's happening. Now I remember they were talking about it was either him or uh, CP from uh, 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 with the Suns. Yeah. So I didn't know that they did. Man, there you go. And yeah. the, oh, here's the thing, though. I don't, I, I don't know basketball. Like I, I, I stay away from talking about it. But I will say this. It seems like there's only like 10 guys in the NBA. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be real. It's going to be straight up. Like, yeah. It seems like there's like 10 guys in the yeah, NBA, yeah. and then there's everybody else. Sure. Yeah. It's not like that in football. And I think no, like right. the fact – and I don't, and I'm cool with it. Like, I, hey, I, I love the Lakers. I love seeing LeBron. I'd rather see LeBron and Stephon and, and you know, yeah. or whatever. But Because yeah. I love to see him shoot and all that stuff. But – it seems like like ten guys in the NBA. It's, well, it's, it's like you need you need two superstars to make the playoffs. You need three superstars to get a championship. You know, yes. it's like that's, that's basically the, the equation. You know, it's like who's and it's got a the, rotating the superstars. It's a rotating group of them. Like okay, like if we yeah. can put LeBron and and him together, and then we can bring in Damian Lillard or Russell Westbrook. Now we can move. Oh no, now yeah. we're gonna move these to the Clippers. Uh, now we gotta move these back. Like it is. It is one. You're right, Ray. It's like. 10 guys that can rotate around and then the rest of everybody is just fighting for scraps. Now I will say this, the only person, well, I don't say the only, cause I'll have to do some research on it, but 
in the twenty in, in, in last year, you know, or a couple of years, the only person who's really kind of proved that is Tom Brady. He went from right. one place to another and then created another Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. You gotta give him that. You know, so not, many, not many, not many people have done that. I am not <laughs> okay. a fan. I'm not a fan, but even I have to give I mean, it away. You know yeah. <laughs> was that video of him throwing the football into the receiver thing fake or was that real? I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't see it. I you didn't know. see it? You know that the machine where you put the ball and it shoots it out? Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he was threw throwing it into the hole? Into the hole and it shot it back out to him. No I can't. way. That feels <laughs> fake, but I don't know. Yeah. I have to see it. Jacob, see it. Jacob, pull that up. If you can yeah. pull that video up, I yeah. want to see it. I know we got Grant back there. Yeah, let's get, no. let's get to Grant because I know we're going to do our first ever Grant versus Ray <laughs> debate. And I'm really excited about this. Uh, the debates have happened off camera for quite a while, I'm told. I but debate, now, I but, debate him every damn day. I, you I know what we should call it? We should call it. Debate. That's how we talk. We should call it the great debate. G R A Y T. Get it? Yeah, Both names put together. Great. Yeah, the I like it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's bring Grant in if we can. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Is, it, is that a Miami starter jacket? He's taking that a is heel turn. He's that gonna, he's taking a heel turn. <laughs> I'm laughing because he said he was going to do it, and I'm throwing it out time to do it. So wow! Grant Cohen, Cohen, ladies and gentlemen, G Money himself. Give Shout out to you, G. Shout out to you. I would you, you went to you upgraded that douche bag, didn't you? Oh, you just oh, upgraded you, the douche. I like it, man. I, like I heard it. we're I heard we're going to talk college football, so uh, I'd break it out. <laughs> Wait, yes, did you go I, to Miami, Grant? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, just, just a random fan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Our first topic is uh, is indeed about college football, and it focuses on the fact that players now can get a little scratch, uh, which is I I think is a very good thing. Oh, time. Oh, it, it, it is, it's long overdue. Let's just yes. say. Yes. I mean, Miami. We've been paying players for a long time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess you know, here in Southern California, we've been doing it a while. And so our question is: Reggie Bush, famously, does not have his Heisman Trophy. It was it was uh, retracted by the Heisman Trophy committee. Uh, should he get it back in light of the fact that players can now get sponsorships? Fuck yeah. He never should have it taken away. <laughs> like, that's crazy, right? Like, how these guys weren't getting paid for all these years, or were, I guess, getting paid, but that the NCAA tried to, like, pretend like it was bad or against some rules. There's a whole line of bullshit just so they could stuff their own pockets. Heck, yeah, he should get it back. And Johnny Manziel should get paid, too. Johnny um, was getting paid. What are you talking about? Yeah, but more, more. Johnny should have gotten paid more. Money look, Manziel should be getting big bucks. Look, I'm going to say this, uh, I, and, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge – Reggie Bush fan, probably one of the best players in 2005 that stepped on a football field. But then what are the rules? It, it, it was, let's just be real. It was the rules. I mean, if you start doing that, then I can only imagine how many guys are going to be like, yo, why did I miss these games? Why did I, why did I get put out the season? Lawrence, think about some of the, 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 the shit that Lawrence Phillips, rest in peace, some of the things that he did and still was able to well, play in two national championships. Uh, we aren't saying that murder is allowed. <laughs> we just said the guy should get paid. Totally different years. Speaking of which, turns out Nebraska fans, not big fans of Lawrence Phillips jokes, was once there for a Miami-Nebraska game, made a joke, got quickly escorted out of the bar. Turns oh. out not a guy you're allowed to You didn't get about. escorted out of the bar because of those sunglasses? I was wearing – I don't know if I had the shades, but definitely had the rest of the outfit. <laughs> well, uh, well, 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 let me say this, Brandon. Think about it. Let, let, and, and, and I've had this conversation with – and I'm like I said, I'm a track guy. And we saw what happened to Richardson, the the, the track girl. Like, uh, I, look, heartbreaking. I, I, look, what she did, I I I 100% condone. Like 100%. She she. The, but those are the rules now. That's an international rule that you just. It, it is what it is. Just because all, some of the states have taken on uh, marijuana and cannabis, hey, that does not mean that you can still do it, especially with the time that it is right now. Like, if you think about that, if. You think about the, the rule changing of marijuana in, in states, and that means you need to let everybody out of out of jail. Well, and they should. And they fucking should. should. But it's, it's, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to do that than to just give a fucking man his Heisman. Like it ain't that hard. Where is it? Where do you think the actual Heisman is? Like, where do you think the physical, his physical Heisman with the Reggie Bush engraving on it? It's gotta be sitting in some office somewhere in New York. Put that shit in a fucking box and send it to the guy. Like that's all he's asking for. I'd be one thing if he was like, oh, and also. Somebody around here. Oh. Uh -oh. But you can at least send him his Heisman. 
Look, I'll say this. If you can take something, if you can take my accomplishments, you can't take his accomplishments away. You can take that trophy. For me, I'm like, man, you can never take who I am away. <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. I, I wouldn't even want it, to be honest with you. I, that, I'm just being frank. I wouldn't even want it. You, you wouldn't even want it? it. That, is like... no, that is ridiculous. You wouldn't wow. want it. But he, he earned it. He was the best player in college. He deserved what? the Heisman. Like, come and on. You take, right. So you, what did you just say? Turns out <laughs> Park is in the middle of summer oh, in LA. Hold on, hold on. You just said, you just said, you just said he earned it, right? So how can you get something taken away that you've already earned? So why, if you can take that away, then I, it really wasn't mine. Well, wait, how could you take, because they took it. Because he, oh. he earned this thing, and they took it, and they put it in some fucking office in New York, and I'm saying give it back to him. Well, how, that's that's okay. do. how can you take something away that you that you said, you said he earned it, and he should get it back? Well, why, how can you take something away that I've earned? I've earned a lot of money. I've earned this. I've earned that. They can, they can, they can only take my, my car if I don't pay for it. So how can you take them taking that from me? Then no, they don't fucking take it. But they, but they did. Like I don't. You don't. Do you, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he actually is in possession of his Heisman, but I'm pretty sure he's not. No, I'm yeah, fairly confident no. he physically does not have it. Now, Neither does the University of Southern California. Neither does Southern Cal. They no, still I have, I believe they still have OJ's Heisman. I, that's Jeff. Check that in. Yeah, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, check it. I mean, I, in 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 in. I'm going to take an, uh, an unpopular opinion here. In defense of OJ, uh, he, he he earned he did not commit his crimes till well after college. So I this get why true. those two things are unrelated. Uh, well, but look, yeah, I, and that's funny you said it because I did some research. There was a guy named uh, Jet Rogers out of University of Nebraska, 1972. He had gotten a felony before he got the Heisman. He still has his Heisman. In 1959, it was a guy named Jim Cannon. Played at LSU and it wasn't called the uh, uh, Tigers back then. It was called the Badgers. And he had won the Heisman the same year he won the Heisman. He had fifty million dollars in counterfeit money buried in the backyard and still wow. has his Heisman. <laughs> I feel like you're making my argument for me. I, I feel like uh, you're, you're I, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm, say, I'm, I'm saying this like, how can you take something that I've already earned? If you can take yeah. it from me, then keep it. It's it wasn't it wasn't really mine in the first place. The fact that they allow other people that have committed crimes and whatever to take it away from them and they haven't changed their rule it's bullshit it's no different than uh what we were just talking about with the with uh with uh the, uh, the, the candidates it's the, it's, I, a, it's the same thing to me hey i, I just want to jump I in here and, and clear this up so evidently according to google uh oj simpson's heisman trophy was purchased at auction by a sheet metal wholesaler in Philadelphia <laughs> for two hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars. And if that guy is has any brains about him, if OJ ever invites him to meet in a hotel room, he will not Don't, show up. Do not, do not go show there. up. Do, do not, not show up with the there. Heisman. He doesn't just want to visit it. That's not what he's interested in. All right. Well, look, I I think I think we uh, agree to disagree here, Ray. In that I think we both agree Reggie was the best player. Yes. Reggie earned the Heisman. Yes. You think they should just leave it in a box in New York? I think they should ship it back to him. I just wouldn't want it. Like, if you took it from me, I'm like, well, and you're gonna give it back to me now just because of the rules have changed? I wouldn't want. It. I don't. I don't understand why he's. I, I. Everybody knows I was the Heisman Trophy one. You can't take away none of my stats. Well, that's that's not true. They actually did take some of the stats. Yeah, they did. That's, yeah, yeah. Me, that's unbelievable. You can't. That's yeah. I, don't, I don't understand. That, that. is crazy. That's stupid. Yeah. It, it makes no sense. You, you Chris, mean, Chris, but, 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 but you're right that the championship though, even though he didn't actually win it, right? He's just, just giving one anyways. You're right that uh, that no one thinks of him as not the Heisman Trophy winner, winner right? Mm -hmm. like everyone yeah, thinks of him right. as the Heisman Trophy winner. So you're right. right in that no one can actually take that away because everyone just everyone remembers him yeah. as being the Heisman Trophy. Didn't they try and give it to the runner up? He can go get him one made. I don't give a damn. He can pay by the pay. <laughs> <laughs> I put up a cardboard. I put a picture of him. Like I got. I got <laughs> Everybody knows we wanted. Two hundred fifty-five grand. You can have your own Iceman Trophy, evidently. Uh, all right. So our or, or second someone else's. Someone else's. Uh, <laughs> second topic. A. A. a Ron Rogers, quarterback <clears throat> for the Green Bay Packers, has gotten Still. into quite the acrimonious relationship with his own GM and team in front office. Uh, not his players. Evidently, he's he's spoken very highly of his his players. In fact, wanted a whole bunch of additional players on his team that he mentioned by name. Uh, and uh, he's he's coming back this year to play for the Packers. Uh, doesn't think the Packers made very many good decisions. So the question is, being as outspoken as he is about the organization of the Packers, uh, critical of the organization. 
should Packer fans love or hate Aaron Rodgers? I'll let uh, we'll let Ray go first this time. I, I, I would say I would say they should love him. I mean, I'm going to be like, like, look, 16 years in the, in the game, 13 years being a, a unbelievable player, play three years underneath Brett Favre and learn from one of the best. Gave gave them 16, 13 great years, eight Pro Bowls, a Super Bowl championship. What? What? How? Why would you not MVP? Love him? Yeah. MVP? Not even that. Let, let's just be real. You think about journey, right? Think about how much Journey was such an impact with the fans and the ownership. Journey wasn't even playing, and he was still leading and telling the fans and the, and the ownership who should be on the team. You need a guy like that in the locker room that knows guys' character. Coaches don't coaches don't go into the locker room. Ownership does not go in the locker room. The locker room is a cherished, sacred place, and only the real dudes know real dudes. And for him to say what he was saying is because he knows the, the locker room. He knows those characters. He knows the guy that smells like alcohol. He knows the guy that's always talking about <laughs> chicks. He knows the guy that's spending all the money and at the strip clubs. He knows the guy that's the family man. And that's what he was saying. It's like, you got to have somebody in, in there that, that's saying that. And that's what I liked about what he said. Yeah, he's trying to bring back guys. He's trying to live his last couple of years doing it the right way with the guys that he loves and the guys that have been in those trenches with him before. And I'm thinking, to me, I... I I like the way he 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 he's gone about this. Not 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 the whole you know conversation with the ownership. Like he, that to me is is that should be a private thing. But the fact that the you talking about fans loving him, they should love every bit of what he's done for the organization, and they should be kissing him because of that pretend equity uh, stop that they really don't have in the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> All right, Grant, what I, do you so think? Something tells me he's not actually interested in like 50,000 random people in Green Bay smooching him, but I don't feel like that's the things he's particularly looking for. But uh, I'll, I'll concede, I do think that for his legacy and how well he's done for that team and that franchise, the fans should love him. But this is rough, bro. Like, he just, I just feel like he's come across like such a like entitled kind of Nancy. Like, I, I guess the one thing that I think, I, I think the idea that you'd have a player in the locker room who is going to be the eyes and ears and helpful and blah, blah is cool. But when you're like, call, cause when he calls out and says, I want Randall Cobb, I think he'd be a great slot receiver. I don't even know who the Packers slot receiver is, but fuck that guy had a bad day, right? Like <laughs> he woke up today and just on national TV, his basically his boss was like, yeah, fuck this guy. I want to get rid of him. Like, yeah, that's but look, tough, I mean, man. But that's gotta be behind closed doors stuff. You call that out. I feel like, I don't think this helps bring their locker room together. I think this drives a bigger wedge in it. Uh, that, I think is, is is the problem that is going to be the case with him. Uh, now, I'm not saying the Packers management did a great job with the caveat. And he actually said it in his press conference that like their track record the last 20 years, 30 years, pretty fucking good. Like they it's hard to argue with success. Now they've only won a couple, one with Favre, one with him, a couple of Super Bowls. But if you stack ranked all of the NFL teams, they're definitely in that upper echelon of who's been consistently good. So even though it doesn't feel great, you know, I mean, wins and losses, like men line, women line numbers don't. And essentially, you say that, and you think about the Chicago Bears, and you can think about how many fucking quarterbacks they've had in the, the last Browns. two years, or, or the Browns. They've how had one. They've had. <laughs> they have one. They had a bunch of bums, and they have had one quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Green Bay has had two in a row. Two. Two in yeah. a row. Two yeah. MVP Super Bowl for like thirty years. It's been like thirty years. It's crazy. Yeah. And so, My entire me, adult life talking about fans up. loving somebody, I would love the shit out of Aaron Rodgers of what he what he's given us. And I, you, and then again, I'm gonna say this too. The last thing I'll say, I, I respect that he's speaking up for his guys because I remember when they got rid of Charles Charles Woodson and they were like, oh, he's he's, he's lost a step. But then the Raiders moved into safety and he's still he with the great. ball. And then you yeah. got Ju uh, 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 Julius Peppers was with with with, with Carolina, played yeah. like half the season and got like 12 sacks. Like they they were getting rid of guys. I probably I understand why because of money most most of them, but I understand what he was thinking. Like, yo, let's rebuild this for one more time for my last, you know, hoorah or whatever. Let me get the guys that I know that I know that 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 I that I know I play with. I don't want a rookie rod receiver that I got to teach. I yeah, want that, Randall. Randall's that I, guy. I he knows where the ball is going to be. I know where to put the ball for him. Can I, I can I, I chime I think, in here real quick? Yeah, Sorry, real quick. Uh, this is it's just, it's a cool thing from chat. The good underscore part says. That's true. If Jerdy came out and said he hated Ray and D's, it would be a rough look. However, he wouldn't hate Ray's, Ray and D's. He would hate the fans as we are the GM. We call the Ooh, plays. We pick the players. 
We pick, we do all this stuff. They're just there corralling. You could hate Grant too. You that doesn't matter. Most of them do. Most of them do. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. 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 I, I, I want to add one thing too, if I may. I, I you know, um, <laughs> if, if from a fan's perspective, right? If you're looking for a dude who's going to be motivated to play this year, Aaron Rodgers has got something to prove, yes. right? I mean, yeah. he's going to go on that field with a chip on his shoulder. And I think from a fan's perspective, it's like, stand back. Let's watch this dude pair it up this year. I think is I, he, I'd be excited. Is he, or is this, this going to be like that time when Kobe was like, fuck you, I'm not shooting. I'm just yeah. passing. Like, I'm just going to make a point. Like, this is what the fuck happens when I'm not I, engaged. I, it'll be interesting I, to see what happens with him. I think we are on like a spine, like the peak of the mountain, and he could go either way. Yes, like, if yeah, things yeah, aren't yeah, going yeah. his way, he's just going to start doing whatever the hell Aaron Rodgers Weird wants. Shit. And yeah. this is the guy we want hosting Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> I want him in the FCS. You know, on on uh, Kenny Maine's last show, he asked him if he was going to come to the FCF. And he yes. left it on the table. He didn't say no. Dude. So I got to be careful about saying bad about him. Would that him. be love to get him so here. rad? Oh, my God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That'd be incredible. Yeah. Um, I mean, and everybody in the chat would be totally, they, they would be geeking out too. So all right. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, all right, so I want Jeff, both, right? I've know? been, I've been keeping tabs back here and we may need to do a 30 second debate off because I think in the first one, uh, Ray won with all of his, uh, there was a lot of information being thrown. I'm going to do the Tony reality, total points, kind of arbitrary. <laughs> in the nice. second one, I'm going to give it totally to grant 100% to grant. Uh, I thought it was a heck of an argument, but I, I'm leaning more towards Grant's argument of the situation. Uh, so in a in a 30 second each debate off, who do you think would be a better football player in the FCF? Jeff Kanata or oh, Josh man. McCuga? We start with Grant. Grant, you get 30 seconds. <laughs> Josh, this is a terrible one, topic. You're, you're the one who's awarding the points, right? Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Josh, it is, baby. There we go. I oh, award upon right. merit of argument. Uh, yeah, I mean, you already, have, you already have the FCF gear on. Uh, I heard you remarking earlier about uh, your love for the male bodybuilding in the Olympics. So I think you understand what it takes to train and get your T shape on. So no, I'm rolling with no, you. I'm rolling with you, big oh, boy. No, I got you. No, no, no. The only uniform that Josh has put on is some, some drawers. <laughs> Jump in the pool. <laughs> I have seen Jeff with his actual right. uniform on. That's so right. he has gotten hit before. He's gotten hit or hit somebody before. That's right. All I, Je Josh, all you've done is this. That's this is a little different. A little different. A little uh, different than, than taking a hit now. Come on, let's just be real. I would just like to say this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> triathlon. Like he's a triathlete. He's That's right. right now. Come on, man. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Six Jeff, drink, may baby. <laughs> Woo! Jeff may have the speltness and the endurance of a of a triathlete. Makuga may have the beef of a meatball. Uh, Ray took some shots at me personally. Uh, Grant had my back from the day. Well, this is a debate. <laughs> you said it was a debate, Josh. Damn it! <laughs> on on base of merit, the score is five four. Ray wins in a in a tight battle here. Woo! Oh, All right. Well, we will. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> I'm never coming back. I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Hell Amazing. Yeah. You get extra points for a tire, Grant. I'm winning, for a tire. I'm winning, all. I'm winning all just to see that clip. No. Get out of here. Jacob, I would like to officially. Is there, is there request... a version of that where I tackle Ray? Like, what the fuck would have happened to my line? <laughs> Grant, anybody? Uh, Grant I, wins. Jacob, <laughs> Jacob, I would like to officially request back, back, up, up, down, down. <laughs> you just, you just throw in the Ray wins thing anytime in any anytime. episode, all the time. Like all there's the time. no wrong time to yeah. interrupt the episode with that. I just oh want you God. to know that. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that oh, so Jesus much. Christ. That's so wow. <laughs> Wow. All right, uh, Colin, thank you for joining uh, us. Give us your back. Hey dog. Good I think you, uh, we know the true the true loser of the uh, of the debate was uh Grant's My outfit at the beginning because he it did not last long. No. Hey, and, 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 and as uh, I don't know who was that uh IMAX, I think it was say he probably needs to, uh I'm Zach. 
Yeah, he shouldn't be in a better room. He looked like he didn't clean his room that day or something. Yeah, he was in that that, <laughs> that guest, guest room. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right, All right, so we so got, we got more, more, uh, more. I guess people on the hot seat is what's happening now. I'm getting on the hot seat, and we got a guest right now. We're gonna bring in Peanut himself. Oh, Peanut Matthew McMillan. Peanut, welcome back to the show. <laughs> what's up, gentlemen? No, what's up, man? Good to see How are you. So, so Josh has decided that he has he has the manliness to come and face me this week. I'm so happy wow. about that. Oh man, bring and it on. Uh, and then uh Patrick decided that he wants to be a world traveler, so he he doesn't want to be on with me this week. See, okay. Patrick's my guy. I'm generally offended by that. So Wow. Peanut, wow. Then tell him how you feel, bro. Wow. Yeah. Peanut wow. coming in, coming in, spitting fire right at the beginning. <laughs> Peanut acting way more like a walnut or an almond <laughs> than that. Oh, than God. Peanut, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Here's what we're going to do. We've got, uh, let's see, 15 trivia questions here. Jeff Kanata versus Peanut himself. First one to five. Fan control trivia. Temporary and subject to change my fan vote. I love that so much. Love Speaking it. of fan vote, get your uh, get your titles there in chat, uh, and we're gonna get to it. Jeffrey, are you ready? I was born ready. Uh, <laughs> Peanut, are you ready? I was fuel. Um, I got fueled by chicken taquitos and milk tonight, so I'm ready yes. now. I'm surprised you don't do a peanut butter sandwich. Just slather it on there. That could be your dance. No, I Ray. Do is my man. <laughs> Ray, uh, they can use you as a lifeline one time. One time each, during each, the each guy? Each guy Ooh. can use your okay. lifeline. Right, I like it. Time. I like it. Okay. Let's Here we go. go. We start with Peanut as the visiting trivia man. Question one. As of right now, today, how many gold medals does Team USA have in the Tokyo Olympics? Is it 15, 14, 10, or 9? No Googling. No Googling. All right. I'm not cheating. Hands I'm not a cheater. Can see him. I'm not a cheater. Um, all right. But um, I'll go with 15. That's my final answer. 15. Jeffrey for the steal. 14. 14 is correct. Give him the yeah. points. Burn. One Ding. off. Good effort, Peanut. though, Peanut. I've been right. watching. I've been watching. Jeffrey. I've been watching WWE the past few weeks. I've been watching uh, the Olympics. I've, I've yeah. gotten deep into WWE, my man. So. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> nobody's perfect, Peanut. Hey, I'll go here we go. on WWE questions right now. <laughs> do it. I will not. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, question two. What was the fan selected name? What sorry, what was the first fan selected name of the fan controlled show? Was it Sweaty Jeff and the Guys? Was it the Makugalorian? Was it Fan Controlled Empire? Or was it Jacob and the Other Guys? It was D Jacob and the Other Guys. That is correct. Jeffrey. I up. said it very fast a lot of times. <laughs> do, do nothing. <laughs> Peanut in a, in a bit of a hole here. Here we go. Question three. They have yet to use their lifeline. Ray in the wings waiting like Jeffrey in high school at the Antioch bench <laughs> area. Okay. Question three. Peanut, who was the first player franchise tagged by the Glacier Boys? Was it Andrew Jamil? Was it David Pindell? Was it Cavante Turpin? Or was it Kalen Campbell? I right, trying to think. Um, all right, I know it's only one time. I might have to go with uh, Ray as my lifeline. Ray, hello, nut. <laughs> that sounds kind of disturbing, Ray. I wouldn't recommend doing that again. <laughs> okay, hey, balls. No, <laughs> uh, uh, David Pendel. Would you like to go with that answer, Peanut? I mean, he's the commissioner. I might as well go for it. That is correct. Well, Whoa. good use of your lifeline. Good, good use of your lifeline. <laughs> well done. As we head to question four, before we get to that, let's go to our first sponsor. That's Jacob's Editing backstage during the program. Jacob, everybody's talking about it. You look fantastic. Okay, question four. <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> what? Which rapper released the song, It Was a Good Day, in 1993? Is it Dr. Dre, Easy E, Jay Z, Ice Cube? It was, of course, Ice Cube. That is correct. Give him yeah. the points. Three. three to one. <clears throat> three to one. Peanut, your next question. Here we go. Which game show host <laughs> did Adam Sandler 
get into a fight with in Happy mm -hmm. Gilmore? Was it Pat Sajak, Alex Trebek, Bob Barker, or Regis Philbin? Um, I'm going to go with Bob Barker. I'm going to the judges. Bob Barker is correct. Bob That's Barker correct. is oh, correct. Yeah. Well done. Well the done. price is wrong, Bob. The price <laughs> is wrong. Here we go. Question five. The score currently is three to two. Oof, anybody's game. Anybody's, anybody's game. game. Anybody's game. Question six. Which pair of pants, this goes to Jeffrey Kanata, which pair of pants did Coach Jenks wear for the first FCF game? Oh, Were it great. Stars and Stripes? Pink Flamingos, Tiger Print, or Captain Thunderbolt? Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to use my lifeline here. Raymond. I'm ask the commissioner who was in the building at the time. <laughs> Announcing the game, Raymondo. Raymondo. Hey, listen, man, I'm never looking at a man's pants, but um, <laughs> oh, give, me, give, no. me the, uh, give me the, what was it again? Uh, I will give you your, your options. Your options, Stars and Stripes. Pink Flamingos, Tiger Print, or Captain Thunderbolt? Stars and Stripes. Jeffrey, would you like to go with that answer? My gut says it was Tigers, but I'm going with my – I used my lifeline. I'm going with my lifeline. Stars and Stripes. Never trust your gut, Jeffrey. Always go with the lifeline. Stars and Stripes is correct. Oh, Save my ass. Come on. Save Four my two. ass. 4-2. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Peanut. <clears throat> Question seven, if an individual gets two penalties in a single half of the FCF, what happens to that player? Nothing. The player can't play for the rest of the half. The, can't, the player can't play for the rest of the game, or the fans get to vote on whether he stays or goes. I'm going to say uh, nothing. Nothing is correct. Give him the points. This is a That's heated kind of, ball game. Uh, that heated, was a trick question. That was really good, though. That's great because all those were all an or answers that we were going to do. We we're going to yeah, do it. I, I hope sure. load on it. So yeah. there you go. All right, Jeffrey, for the win. How many episodes have there been of ESPN's Thirty for Thirty? Mm. Is it fifty, sixty-eight, seventy-four, or eighty? Uh, this is a complete guess. I'm going 74. 74 is incorrect. Peanut for the steal and the tie. Um, I'm going to go with 80. Oh, we are looking for 68. Ooh. 68. The score remains four <sighs> to three as we head to Peanut's choice here. Peanut, which team had the best regular season record in the FCF? Was it the Zappers? The Wild Aces, the Glacier Boys, or the Beasts? I Beasts. know this one! Oh, Beast yeah. is correct. <laughs> it is all tied up. We head back My team. To, to Jeffrey, two ends, one T Kanata, the pride of Antioch High School, or just a member of the team. Yeah, there's no pride there. No pride. <laughs> nope. For the win, Jeffrey, as of yesterday, July 28th, 2021, which notorious song from the 80s Reached one billion views on YouTube. Was it Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up? Is it Pour Some Sugar on Me by Def Leppard? Is it Like a Prayer by Madonna or my favorite dance floor song, Push It by Salt and Peppa? I think this is uh this is Rick being Rick rolled will get you to a billion views. I think it is never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Mm -hmm. And you never let down the fans, Jeffrey. That is correct. And you're oh, a winner. Oh, Del Canada oh, in a heated battle, five to four. The Rick Astley of the FCF show. But I'll tell you what, Peanut, you didn't let us down. You never gonna you're never gonna give up. You did. I played a hell of a game out there. Everybody's very excited about it. We like your curtains. You you, do, you played great. How are you feeling about yourself? I mean, I'm feeling good. I kept a close battle. Um you did. Came back. You know, um just uh just so wish we could have tied up there and gone to extra innings, but uh, we uh, came up short. But uh, well, you know dude, it's okay. You crushed um, it. You crushed you know, it. I, I wish I wish there was a prize for this though. To be honest, but anyway. well, it's the pride because next time you come on, you're going to be playing Patrick D's and trivia. Uh, we'll we'll mm. we'll line that up. We'll make that happen. We appreciate your fandom. We appreciate all the passion, Peanut. You stay safe out there. Uh, congratulations. Thanks, sir.
Appreciate it. You got this it. This is uh you know what I like what Peanut said. I think that's something we should think about. We should start keeping records, bring Peanut back on, and yeah, if we start creating the records like five and oh and two and oh, and then there there's gonna go. be a prize at the end. You're right. I like it. We could have this some sort of like yeah, yeah, March we're, we're Madness, like March Madness style brackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love for it. Sure, yep, for sure. Yep. I uh, like that. Uh, I like Jacob. Thank you for putting that that headline up on the screen. I haven't read that headline since snack time. <laughs> Jeff defeats peanut. And you know what? We got to get, I, I, hey, I'm Zach. We're, we're going to get you on this trivia show because you talk. Yeah, I'm Zach. Ish over there. It's rigged. I'm okay. Zach has been hot We're going to we 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 get you on the show, bro. Yep. What, what, what do you mean rigged? What rigged. is this rigged stuff? Rigged. Like, what, what, what are we rigging? Why yeah, would I, I rig it? it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh, okay. Kind of Producers, we're getting him on the show. We're gonna, All right. you, we're gonna get him yep. on the show. Money where your mouth is, I am Zach. Money where your mouth is. Um all right, we got show names for you to vote. What should the show be called next week? Ray's technical issues. Ray needs tech support. Is this thing on? And hello, nut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know when my vote is going. Hello, yep. nut. Hello, nut. <laughs> Every uh, time I'm literally sitting here waiting. Got music playing. I got my horn, the hip hop horn ready, and always something. Always, something. always something. That's okay. That's okay. Um, oh my gosh, it's been so much fun this week, uh, talking, chatting, hanging out. Yes, if you stick with us, there will be fan controlled football season 2.0 news <sighs> at, at some point. Uh, let me let me, are, let me let me let me just say one thing. I, I won't okay. I say a lot. I'll just say, <sighs> man, that's all I'm gonna say. Man, exciting stuff oh, is coming. I, I'm very excited about this news, but I'm very excited because this might be the greatest comment we've gotten in chat ever. First player token says the D's and peanuts segment has to be called D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> So good. Yeah, I think it writes itself and uh, crushing the vote with 95%. Hello, nut is what we will be called <laughs> next week. If this was a microphone, first player token would have just dropped it and walked yeah. out of chat. Incredible. Well done. And the show is uh, called I am or hello, nut. Hello, nut. 95% of the vote. I mean, that is like, <laughs> come on, no, no, no contest. Um, so thank good. you all for hanging out with us. Uh, we are here every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific time, twitch.tv slash F. C F. It's always a blast hanging out with you fellas. Thank you. Uh D's, we miss you. We'll see you miss next you. week. Until then, power to the fans. Power to the fizzans. <laughs>